Hey everybody, Dr. O here. Welcome to the next lesson. We're gonna answer a super important question here today. How many calories do I burn in a day? If you don't know how many calories you burn in a day, you won't know how many calories you should be eating in a day, so very, very important. So in the last lesson, I taught you how to determine your body fat percentage. Now that you know that, you can get a better estimate of what your total daily energy expenditure is. And that's everything, that's your entire metabolism. That's your basal metabolic rate, that's determined by lean mass, et cetera. That is how the physical activity, whether it's conscious or subconscious activity, you add all those things together, plus what's known as the thermic effect of food, because it does take some calories to digest and absorb and utilize your food. When you add those three things together, you have your total daily energy expenditure. So I'm gonna take you to the legion.com site, their tool section to show you where I use my total daily energy expenditure now. Hey everybody, Dr. O again. So here we are at the legionathletics.com site. We're under their tools section. You see here Legion Fitness Tools. This is where I come to do some of my calculations now. I really like this site, so no um, affiliation with them. I just uh, think they make a good product here. So if you go to Leg Legion Fitness Tools, we're gonna scroll down. So first you'll see the basal metabolic rate or BMR calculator. Uh, that That's great, you can certainly do that, but that only tells you your basal metabolic rate or your resting energy expenditure, which is how many calories you would burn just surviving, right? just laying still, no digestion, no movement, no anything. So that number is used to help calculate what we really care about, which is your total daily energy expenditure. They take your basal metabolic rate and then they add an activity calculator to it to determine how many calories you actually burn in a day. So let's go ahead and do this one. So click on it here and there's gonna be a couple things I have to show you, but you can read through here and you'll notice that here's where you do your actual calculator. It's gonna give you your stats here. And if you scroll down a little lower, you can even look at things like cal how many calories you should be eating to slowly or quickly gain, uh, lose or gain weight. So all great things. I like this site. All right, so let's say this person is a male and we'll put them at 200 pounds and I'll make them six feet tall and we'll keep them at 30. So the two most important things to know going into this is how active you are and then your body fat percentage will come back to. So you see your activity, this is gonna be where this activity multiplier comes from. So what I would recommend is that if you're trying to lose weight, so let's say that you do actually exercise or play soccer or something seven to nine hours a week, you could choose that. But if you're trying to lose weight, I would go down one because these estimations are, are usually a little bit overboard. And if you're trying to gain weight, maybe you'd actually go up one. And you do see how the numbers move, the numbers change down here, and I'll show you all the numbers in a second. So let's say that you actually do exercise seven to nine hours, or seven to nine hours per week, I would go ahead and choose the one below it. Now, you notice it's already given you a total daily energy expenditure, but that's using um, this, uh, I don't know how to say it, Mifflin St. Your uh, formula. But notice here, this is the most accurate, accurate if you don't know your body fat percentage. But that's why I taught you how to estimate your body fat percentage using the US Navy body fat calculator, or I asked you to get your body fat tested in some other way, right? Whether you, I use DEXA scans, but uh, there's lots of things you can do. So since you know your body fat percentage, or at least have an estimate of it now, you're gonna go here and pick the catch McArdle formula, and I actually was gonna say 200 pounds, 25% body fat. Notice that the number changed, not a ton, but it did. So you're gonna get a more accurate measurement if you do know your body fat percentage. So now the, t this person's total daily energy expenditure is 2,764 calories per day. And if they are less active, you'll see how the numbers are gonna drop. If they're more active, the numbers are gonna go up. So this is what we needed to know. And notice it also gives you that basal metabolic rate, so there really wasn't any reason to use the other calculator. So now we're gonna take this information and we're, we're gonna take our body fat percentage to determine how many calories you should be eating if you're on a diet. At least that's the main way we're gonna use it. So follow me back to the rest of the video. And we're back. So now you should know your total daily energy expenditure. So what is that? That's how many calories you should be eating if you're in a maintenance phase, if you're trying to maintain your body weight. So how do you test it? Use it for a while. Eat that many calories every day for a week or two. If you are gaining weight, then that is too high and your actual total daily energy expenditure is lower. If you're losing weight, then it's too low and your total daily energy expenditure is actually higher. So really the only way to know for sure, these are estimates, the only way to know for sure is to test a number and calculate what you're eating and see what happens on the scale. But obviously the scale lies because of fluid shifts and those kind of things. So you should be weighing yourself on a regular basis and averaging those at the end of the week. 
maybe weigh yourself five to seven times, add that number up, divide by five, divide by seven, get your average weight for the week. If it's creeping up or down, you know this is not your true TDEE, total daily energy expenditure. But if it is, now we're ready. Now you know your body fat percentage, which will tell you how many pounds of fat you have on your body. Now you know your total daily energy expenditure. So now I can teach you how to figure out how many calories you should be eating on a diet, which is what you're all here to figure out because you're all here because you want to lose weight. So follow me to the next lesson to learn that. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.